بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم dear 8th grade students welcome to our new session we are talking today about much many some and any the four the four new vocabulary i believe it is not new but let's say it is new the four new vocabulary are used to what or are used with what they used with nouns so this creates a new question which is what is a noun so the question would be what is a noun okay a noun is a word that could refer to a person like yasser arafat jamila buhrid yasser is a noun Arafat is a noun, Jamila is a noun, Buhred is a noun. Okay, a noun could be also a place. Like what? Like Jerusalem, Gaza, West Bank, Egypt, Cairo, Beirut, school, hospital. All, all of the places are nouns, or the place all of the places' names are nouns or nouns could be animal wolf lion tiger and it could be a thing like pin pock not pock disc window door and it could be feelings like happiness a sad sadness al -huzun. now we identified what is a noun let's go to this exercise exercise number one underline the nouns in the following sentences Palestine is not a big country the teacher says you need to work hard our neighbor loves to raise animals he has two cats and a dog while writing i broke my pen so i put a new pen sadness is part of our life but it should not fill life completely okay please now stop the video and do this exercise by yourself i'll give you five minutes and after finishing please revise the answer Okay, we'll come back. I'll suppose that you uh, totally commit with uh, my uh, instruction. And now let's continue. الآن مفروض إنك أنت وقفت الفيديو لدقائق وبعدين حليت هذا السؤال علمت على النوع والآن نكشف الإجابة and you should be honor. يجب أن تكون صادقا مع نفسك. Now Palestine and country, the teacher and Neighbor, animals, cats, dog, writing, pen, sadness, and life. Thank you. Now, we should know that nouns are of two parts. Countable nouns and uncountable nouns. Notes. One apple. Two apples, apples, but on the other side we have a cup of tea, two cups of tea, tea. انت ملاحظ انه انا عشان اعد الشاي استخدمت معيار هو الكوباية انا بقول تفاحة تفاحتان تفاح وين اجى التغيير في الجمع او في التثنية أجي على كلمة تفاح نفسها لكن عندما أجيت أتعامل مع كلمة شاي قلت كأس من الشاي أو كوب من الشاي كوبان من الشاي كلمة شاي بقيت كما هي والذي تأثر هو إيه؟ هو كوبان المعيار بنلاحظ إنه كلمة تي لم تتأثر قلنا a cup of tea two cups cups of tea 
and T. وهنا بندرك إنه so the words that do not have the words that do not have plurals or if we want to make plurals of them are called uncountable nouns. الأسماء اللي أنا بقدرش أعمل منها جمع وعشان أعمل منها جمع بتطلب مني أستخدم معيار هتسمى uncountable أسماء غير معدودة. أنا هل ممكن أعد السكر حبة حبتين ثلاثة سكر 1, 2, 3, sugar 1, 2, 3, salt or soy It is impossible But I can say A bag of sugar A kilo of sugar Two kilos of sugar Am I right? بقدر أقول رطل سكر كيس سكر رطلين سكر لكن بقدرش أقول سكر سكرتين ثلاثة سو so, الكريمات اللي بتاخذ معيار اللي هو زي كوبايه كيلو آه, رطل هذه كلها واللي مش ممكن يتاثر فيها الجمع بس يعني نفسها ما بتاثرش بالجمع او بالتثنيه او بكذا هذه تسمى uncountable again let's have a not okay one box two box box but on the other side a kilo of sugar a bag of sugar and sugar Okay, now let's go to this exercise. I believe that you should now understand or recognize what is the difference between countable and uncountable. Now please put C when the word is countable and U when it is uncountable. And the matrubal kalima countable, hukula C. Ida kanat uncountable, hukula U. We have rice, rain, boy. And we have a box salt and we have box milk soil now please stop the video for two minutes and try to answer this question by yourself be honor please what give the video how to tell us well what's happening in a two minutes okay okay we'll come back again i'll suppose that you are honor enough أنا بفترض إنه أنتم شرفاء و... ومناء كفاية إنكم تحلوا من السؤال بأنفسكم. Now, rice, الأرز, uncountable, rain, uncountable, and boy, countable. A, uh, uncountable, box, countable, salt, uncountable. Box, countable, milk, uncountable, soil, uncountable. Thank you very much. Now we have some rules. Rule number one says we use some in affirmative. 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 لأن هذه مثبتة يعني قلت نعم لدي فبستخدم مع الإثبات some so we use some in affirmative yes statements with uncountable nouns and with plural countable nouns let's have this example there are some tomatoes there are some tomatoes ولاحظ إني أنا كلمة tomatoes is a plural كلمة tomatoes I cannot say there is some tomato بقدرش أقول هناك بعض tomato لا لأنه سم تستخدم مع المعدود الجمع وليس المعدود المفرد وغير المعدود يعني ممكن أقول some sugar some soy some salt لكن بقدرش أقول وممكن أقول some tomatoes some apples some potatoes لكن ما بقدرش اقول some tomato ولا some pork لازم تكون countable plural countable جمع يعني مجموعه او uncountable okay let's have rule number two we use any in negative no statements with uncountable nouns and also with plural countable nouns كذلك كلمه any يا شباب بستخدمها مع الجمع الجمع المعدود أو مع غير المعدود 
لكن في حالة النفي مثال there are not any tomatoes أو there aren't any tomatoes لا يوجد أي بندورة عنا هنا عندي كلمة not not refers to what to negative statement so we have any tomatoes and we have the third rule we usually use any in open yes no question with uncountable nouns and also with plural countable nouns again any بستخدمها مع النفي ومع السؤال لكن صم مع الإثبات so <coughs> we may say is there any tomato paste في أي أي صلصة في عنا صلصة السؤال بستخدم مع any النفي any والإثبات صم Let's go to this examples from our book. Are there any tomatoes? Yes, there are some tomatoes. And عندي إثبات. السؤال استخدمت إني في الإثبات قال yes, there are some tomatoes. لطب لو قال لا ما عناش B. No, there aren't any tomatoes. Is there any tomato paste? Yes, there is some tomato paste. No, there isn't any tomato paste. Now please go to quiz A. It is available on classroom and try to do this exercise, please. This is a small quiz or brief quiz. في عنا على classroom هذا الواجب آخر موعد للحل ستة وعشرين مارس يا شباب ستة وعشرين ثلاثة هو خمس أسئلة عن مني عن صم وإني تمام؟ بتحلوا رجاء وبتحل مرة واحدة الحل مرة واحدة لو حليت لي مرتين حاخد أول حل فقط الثاني ما بعترفش فيه ليش؟ لأنه يعتبر غش Now let's continue We need to talk about much and many Much and many Again we have some rules We use many and much I'm sorry uh, I wrote it uh, much But uh, I wrote it many and many It is many and much يعني اكتبها many and many هذا خطأ خلل فني وهي many and much we use many and much to talk about the quantity of something نتكلم عن عن عدد لكن خلينا نلاحظ شغلة يا شباب انه معنى كلمة many باللغة العربية معناها العدد الكثير من لكن كلمة much معناها الكمية الكثيرة من إذا أي شيء يعد وبقول عنه العدد الكثير من بستخدم معاه مني طب أي شيء لا يعد بك عامله بالكمية الكمية زي الكيلو أو الرطل أو الكيس أو الشوال أو الكباية أو الصحن أو 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 أي معيار بستخدم معاه much and let's take this example there are, there are many tomatoes إذا كلمة tomato معدودة فبستخدم معها many there is much sugar so كلمة sugar غير معدودة بستخدم معها much لاحظ لما قلت tomatoes قلت are are لكن كلمة sugar قلت is لأنه الuncountable غير المعدود يعامل معاملة المفرد and we have we use many with countable nouns and much with uncountable nouns and the last rule, we can ask how many are there and how much is there. Miller Nisal Gadesh, how many are there or how much is there? An alkimiya, how many? An ladad, how many? An alkimiya, how much? We often use many and much in negative statements. Fil jumla al masfi, fi nafi, aadi, we stakhdim mini fi nafi, we stakhdim much fi nafi. We haven't got many kebabs. And we haven't got much ground meat. Now again, please go to classroom and do this exercise by yourself, okay? It is available till 26th of March 2021. Now this is the time to say goodbye and have a nice day. Have a nice day, students.